What's up guys? Welcome to the Mastering Series. Today I'm going to talk all about coin drop. Now guys, one thing to keep in mind is this is going to be a tricker style coin drop. Not like the guys in Wushu, not like the breakdancers, but a tricker style. So let's get into it. We're going to start in a front side position. We're going to end in the back side position. Now when you do a coin drop, it's a transition skill that turns you 180 degrees. So keep that in mind when you're comboing it. Now when you do the coin drop, there's going to be three parts to the skill. There's a drop, a kick, and a kip. Keep in mind, I twist to my right when I coin drop. If you twist to your left, everything's going to be reversed. That is when I'm talking about rights and lefts of the skill. Now we're going to start with the drop. Our left leg is going to be drawing a semicircle on the ground and going behind our right as we try and fall backwards onto our left shoulder. Now we want to be high on the back, around the shoulder blade. If you kind of feel that hard part of your shoulder, that's around where you want to contact the ground, softly and gently. And then you want to pike your legs up and get ready for the next motion, which is the kick. The next step is the kick. Now the kick will come really easy if you practice this drill. Starting in a seated straddle, you're going to take your right leg, and you're going to throw it around you, leaning onto your back. Your right leg is going to draw a huge circle in the air, and then your left leg is going to follow it. Imagine like you're tracing a circle with your right and then your left and end back in that seated straddle position. Do that a ton of times, get comfortable, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same drop we just did, followed by that kick. Now here, flexibility is really gonna count, so make sure you're bendy and you've done your stretches before practicing your coin drops. Now halfway through the kick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kip. Just like how you do a normal style kip, we're gonna be taking our legs and our heels and we're gonna be driving them to the ground and kind of bridging our body up. Now the only difference between this and a classical style kip is we're going to be doing a little turn as we do it. Remember, this is a coin drop. We're going to have some twisting momentum going into this. Now guys, if you did everything correctly, you should be 180 degrees from where you started. Now if you twist a little bit more or a little bit less, that's absolutely fine. When you're first learning this skill, go practicality, just land it, and then work functionality. Start to combo it and play around with it a little bit more, and then do style and cleanliness. Now if anybody has any problem when they're learning their coin drops, I encourage you to comment down below, ask me questions. I am here to help you guys learn tricking. Please use me as a resource. And finally, thank you so much to everybody who's supporting me on Patreon. If you guys don't know, this series, these tutorials are funded by the community, by you guys donating $5 a month, $10 a month to me making these videos. I make one every week and I've made like almost 20 so far. So guys, check that out if you haven't already. Thank you so much again. Thank you to all the patrons again who are signed up. It means the world to me. Let's spread this sport of tricking. Have a lovely day.